Mays from the Crumb Church of Christ, and I welcome you to this stepping stone here on Wednesday, January the 5th of the year 2022. This is the first stepping stone of the new year, and the title of this stepping stone is Nothing. You see, during the holidays, I received a special gift of nothing, and I quickly decided that it would serve as a basis for a good Bible lesson. And here it is, the gift of nothing. In year 2021, the card reads, nothing for the person who has everything. And then the card continues with congratulations. You have received the gift of nothing, absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. Less is more, more of less. Nothing is precious, nothing is simple, nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Savor the moment. Soon you discover that nothing really is so much better than something. On the back of the card, we find instructions. Step one, carefully open the pack. Step two, experience nothing. Contents, the sound of one hand clapping. The hole in the donut. The thing that goes bump in the dark. The sound of a tree falling in the forest when no one is there to hear it. The incident that no one talks about. The bashful achievement. Warranty. This product is guaranteed to do absolutely nothing. If something happens, refund it for the full refund. Warning. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If any of this is swallowed, please consult a psychiatrist immediately. I like that last line. Well, I decided, what does the Bible have to say about nothing? 
And so I then looked up seven verses in the Bible about nothing. And here is the first of them. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. What has been, uh, it is what will be. And what has been done, it is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. You see, Solomon in this passage dealt with the sameness of day after day. People today have a hundred plus channels to watch on their TV cable or hundreds of different programs on their streaming cable and then still come away feeling like there's nothing to watch on TV. People talk about how bad our current COVID pandemic is. However, world, the world pandemics of the 14th century and from 1918 to 1920 were just as bad as the current pandemic. Solomon's answer to nothing new under the sun is found here in Ecclesiastes 12:13. The conclusion when everything has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments because this applies to every person. Another verse, Luke 1:37, for nothing will be impossible with God. This was the angel's response to Mary who was wondering how concerning the birth of both Jesus and John the Baptist. And then we, with that in mind, we should not be surprised at Paul's remark. While in the Roman prison in Philippians 4.13 stating, I can do all things uh, through him who strengthens me. I would ask you to let Paul's statement of faith challenge you in the year 2022. Then there is John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. We are surrounded by people who believe they are accomplishing great things in this world. But sadly, when you leave Christ out of your life, it becomes a nothing life. And there is 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2. Paul writes, For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. This is what Paul expressed to his Corinthian brethren. It showed the aim and purpose of his life. We too should have this same aim and purpose for our lives in this new year of 2022. And now 1 Corinthians 13, verse 2. Paul writes, If I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Oh, truly, that is, is right. This verse is found in 1 Corinthians 13, Paul's chapter on love. It was his answer for many of the spiritual problems that were occurring in the Corinthian church. Paul ends this chapter on love with 1 Corinthians 13, 13. But now faith, hope, and love, these three but the greatest of these is love. Next, 1 Timothy 6, verse 7. Paul writes, For we have brought nothing into the world, so we cannot take anything out of it either. This verse humbles us, and it does a quick check on what we may think we have accomplished in our own past. May this verse remind us daily in the year 2022 of who we really are and those things in life that are really important. And with that in mind, here's our last verse for our consideration. James 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, 
lacking in nothing. The Greek word translated with the English word perfect in this verse means completeness and mental and moral and spiritual growth to act like a mature Christian adult. Does this describe you? Make this your goal for the year 2022. The fact that you are present and listening to these comments would suggest that Jesus Christ means more to you than just nothing. I would challenge you again in 2022 to follow Paul's example of determined dedication found here in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 2. For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. That was Paul's life, his goal. That's what filled him. I ask for it to fill you up as well. If we, the Crumb Church of Christ, we do anything to help you spiritually in any way, please go to our website, find our email address, contact us, and let us know what we can do for you spiritually. I thank you for listening to our Stepping Stone this day. I hope you will come and be with us this next Lord's Day at the Crumb Church of Christ for Bible study at 9.30, worship at 10.30. We would love to have you. May God bless, and I hope you'll join us, Lord willing, next week for another Stepping Stone.